Hello everybody. Today I'm going to take up uh, a complete question on uh, admission of partner. Uh, so here I have put down the question on the board. I'll just read out the question. Ahmed and Dani are partners. They share profits in the ratio of 3 is to 2. They decided to admit Sahil with one third share. Sahil was to contribute rupees 50,000 as his capital and rupees 20,000 as his share of goodwill. But he actually contributed only rupees 12,000 towards goodwill. Now the balance sheet is given below. The capitals of the partners, general reserve, creditors and bills payable on the liability side and on the asset side you have all the assets and goodwill is also there right okay okay now the terms of admissions buildings and machine to be depreciated by five percent stock to be revalued at rupees forty thousand one month salary of rupees three thousand is outstanding there is an unrecorded asset worth rupees twelve thousand so you have to prepare the revaluation account, cash account and capital account of the partners. Right? So we will start with the preparation of the revaluation account. Okay. Now, here building and machine is depreciating by 5%, right? So, you will have two buildings account and two machinery account here. And let's look at the value of uh, building and machine here. Building is 50,000, machine is 20,000, right? So, 50,000 into 5 upon 100 gives you 2,500 and 20,000 into 5 upon 100 gives us 1,000 rupees, right? There is an outstanding salary. So, that will come on the debit side here. 3000 rupees right and then they have given stock is to be revalued at 40,000 now look at the value of stock here stock is 30,000 that means stock is appreciating by 10,000 right so we'll put it here buy stock 10,000 rupees and there is an unrecorded asset worth rupees 12,000. So that is an increase in asset now. So I'll put buy unrecorded asset that is 12,000 rupees. Right. That's it. Now we have to find out the profit on revaluation transferred to the capital accounts of the old partners Ahmed and Dani they have been sharing uh, profits in the ratio of 3 is to 2 right so here this is the total here 22,000 10 plus 12 so on both sides you put 22,000. Now what is the profit here? 22,000 minus 2,500 minus 1,000 minus 3,000. That comes to 15,500, right? Now this 15,500 has to be divided in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So you get 15,500 into 3 divided by 5 that is 9,300 for Ahmed 
and for Dani it will be 15,500 into 2 divided by 5 that comes to 6,200 okay <clears throat> so this is your revaluation account in which we have found out the profit on revaluation and it is distributed between the old partners in their old profit sharing ratio now let's come to the cash account this is the cash account yeah the opening balance of cash is given as Twenty five thousand, so we'll take that twenty five thousand, right? Now the new partner is bringing in capital fifty thousand, and he is supposed to bring twenty thousand, but he brings only twelve thousand towards goodwill, right? So we'll put it as two Sahil's capital account that is his capital 50,000 <clears> and two premium for goodwill account here he is bringing only 12,000 so we'll put this 12,000 rupees right okay that's it so here the balancing figure will come with the closing balance right so this is 50 plus 12 plus 25 that comes to 87,000 right Eighty-seven thousand. so the balance carried down is 87,000 okay Okay, now we come to the capital accounts of the partners. Now before doing the capital accounts of the partners, I will take up this uh, calculation of new ratio. Okay, the new partners share, uh, Sahil's share is given as 1 upon 3, right? So the remaining share will be how much? 1 minus... 1 upon 3 that will be equal to 2 upon 3 right okay now you calculate how much share how much share will be 3 is to 2 is their old ratio right so 3 by 5 into this 2 by 3 the remaining share fine so that comes to 6 divided by 15 right same way Dani's share will be 2 by 5 into 2 by 3 that will be equal to 4 by 15 right okay so the new ratio will be equal to 6 by 15 is to 4 by 15 is to 1 by 3 right so that comes to 6 is to 4 is to 5 right this is the new ratio okay now let's see what is the sacrificing ratio? The sacrificing ratio for Ahmed will be the old ratio 3 by 5 minus the new ratio 6 by 15 that comes to 
3 by 15 okay and dani it is 2 by 5 minus 4 by 15 so the denominator comes to 15 here right and you have 5 3 is a 15 so 2 3 is a 6 6 minus 4 okay so that gives you 2 by 15 so the sacrificing ratio is equal to 3 is to 2 okay so we have found out the uh, sacrificing ratio here and the new ratio here right okay now let's go back to the capital account of the partners capital accounts right particulars now this is the first partner Ahmed, Dani and Sahil right the credit side particulars okay right now let's see first of all you put this by balance brought down their balances was 80,000 and 40,000 so you put the balances here right this was the balance 80,000 40,000 which we have written here this one right and um, okay now the next thing that we do is the general reserve will be distributed among the old partners so we write by uh, general reserve the amount of general reserve was uh, 15,000 divided in the ratio of 3 is to 2 so you get 15,000 into 3 divided by 2 that is sorry, 15,000 into 3 divided by 5 that comes to 9,000 the amount of general reserve So that comes to 9,000 and 6,000, right? Then you have the revaluation account profit by revaluation account. The profit that you distributed here, 9,300 and 6,200, right? 9300 and 6200 hmm? okay uh, now you come to the goodwill part buy premium for goodwill account that is he brings only 12000 right so 12,000 will be divided in the ratio of 3 is to 2, right? So 12,000 into 3 divided by 5 comes to 7,200 and 12,000 into 2 divided by 5 comes to 4,800. Now the balance 8,000 rupees which he is not bringing that will be written like this by Sahil's capital account. Even though he is not bringing that, it will be adjusted with his capital account, right? Okay, so that 8000 again will be distributed in the ratio of 3 is to 2. So, uh, this comes to 4800 here, that is 8000 into 3 divided by 5, right? 4800, 8000 into 2 divided by 5 comes to 3200, right?
If the partner doesn't bring in the whole amount of goodwill, then his capital account is debited for the deficiency, right? Okay, hmm? right. Now, then, by cash account, he brings in capital 50,000 that will come here right in his account okay now come to the credit side the old goodwill will have to be distributed the old goodwill is uh, 5,000 rupees here you can see the balance sheet has old goodwill as 5,000 rupees here right and this 5000 has to be distributed among the old partners now right so 5000 in the ratio of um, 3 is to 2 again so that is 3000 and 2000 right this is the old ratio not the sacrificing ratio this has to be done in the old ratio uh, in this question the old ratio and the sacrificing ratio is same uh, so here uh, i'll write it in the brackets here this is the old ratio right okay mm -hmm. three is to two right okay now um then you will write to ahmed this um eight thousand rupees that had been debited to the new partner's uh, capital account so it will come here to Ahmed. It will come uh, here four thousand eight hundred and to Dani it will be three thousand two hundred. Right. So the journal entry here is Sahil's capital account debit to Ahmed's capital account to Dani's capital account. Right. That's it. All the entries have been put. Now you have to find out the balances. Okay. Now if we add up this side uh, for Ahmed, that is eighty thousand plus nine thousand plus nine thousand three hundred. Eighty thousand plus nine thousand plus nine thousand three hundred plus seven thousand two hundred plus four thousand eight hundred that comes to one lakh ten thousand three hundred and for Dani it will be um, sixty thousand two hundred right just and here it is fifty thousand fine okay now here you just have to balance it now one lakh ten thousand three hundred uh, minus three thousand so here you will have two balance carried down so that will be one lakh seven thousand nine hundred here oh uh, sorry it's uh, 300, sorry, 300, 1 lakh 7,300, right? And here you have 60,200. So 60,200 minus 2,000 comes to 58,200. And here you have 50,000, 50,000 minus 8,000. That comes to 42,000 right so this is how you'll be making the revaluation account cash account and capital accounts of the partners for this question right so with that i will uh, end the session thank you